Hello and welcome to this episode of Talking Trim. I'm Jonathan Skinner and today we are looking at the headliner area for the Jaguar XK150 drophead coupe models, that's the DHC models. So unlike the Roadster open two-seater where it featured purely just a soft top convertible, um, the dropheads uh, actually had a headliner fitted to the inside as well. And this is what this is here. Now what we've got laid out here is the headliner and any um, associated kind of items. So effectively you've got the headliner which is made up of this main section here and this U section that goes around the rear window here as well as some loose piping. Um, you've then also got the wadding padding and scrim area which is the white material there and the black material there. Effectively in between the headliner and the soft top convertible hood sandwiched in between was a padding um, effectively, uh, which was carried over from the XK140 drop head models, I believe. And then towards the back of the car, we've also got the light area panels. Now, the light area panels, you only need obviously one for your car. Uh, they did have two different versions, so I'll go over that. And the reason I've included those in this video is the fact that they're made in the same material as the headliner, and therefore it makes logical sense to consider purchasing them at the same time. It'd be worth checking out another video I've done, which is for the actual weather equipment side of things. So very much related to these, which includes the soft top and the hood frame cover, hood bag. Uh, right, so let's jump on. Um, as with most of our videos, I've combined a few items here. Now, it's worth noting that the headliner and the rear panel is uh, are both included as part of our trim kit as standard, whereas the padding wadding kit is always an optional extra and then as with all of our items we also sell these items completely individually so as kits car sets etc let's start with the main item so you've got the headliner here so you've got the main section uh, always made in wool cloth as per original spec from the jaguar factory so it's english wool cloth available in beige gray green see our website for more details and it's a sewn headliner um, so you get the main section here, which has some cross seams going across, as you can see there, top stitched, which have, if I can just fold this back, loops on the underside, as you can see there. And it's got the, you see the stitch line going from left to right on it. Then going front to back, you had piping, um, sewn around the wool cloth material and it, again it's uh, top stitched to a certain point on there as you can see uh, the piping as well should be noted that it's uh, originally it was a paper core which is slightly thicker um, paper core is no longer available but we do offer plastic uh, to the same thickness so just bear that in mind I'm trying to keep things as original as possible where possible um, so that's the obviously the main section there obviously you have the sort of b post wings coming down here and then Towards the back of the car, you had this U-shape here, which goes around the rear window. So if we refer to this book here, you can see this U-shapes this section here. U-shape is folded over double thickness as so, and it has the top sit seam going around that inside edge there. Um, so just look at that book there, you can see, so this is the side bits here. You've got the main area there, then the U-shaped piece there. Uh, now, obviously the padding made up of a white uh, scrim calico padding material and uh, black scrim calico over there. Uh, so that sits sandwiched in between the headliner and the soft top. And then the rear light area panel. Now these are millboard panels, allowing it to bend and curve into the car both ways actually. They sort of curve round like that. But actually when it's in the car, you'll want to be adding a bit of bend that way as well to get it lodged in. Now we supply the wooden panel on the back. Sometimes the wooden panel can be reused, so just let us know, but we do supply that as standard there. And as you can see, there are two different versions to that there. You've got this version, which is a bit more angular, which we believe is what they refer to as the early version. And then you have the much more common curved version here. Uh, changeover happened sometime in 1958, um, so just let us know uh, either your chassis number and we can look it up or the uh, month and year. Easiest way though is to just send a photo of your original old part and uh, I don't think there's actually any harm with either of them, i.e. they would both fit absolutely fine into all the 150s as far as I'm aware. So to look 
that's that panel there you can see the light in the middle of it which would be obviously in that hole there or part of it anyway and it sort of bends round to the curvature of the car there as you can see and that also gives a nice view of other elements of the headliner there so yeah that's pretty much the headliner and associated elements like i say majority of this is supplied as standard in our trim kit apart from the padding wadding material at the front there uh, so yeah, we'll for more details uh, be sure to like subscribe and share with other classic car enthusiasts and be sure to tune in especially to our soft lock convertible video cheers